Dianne Feinstein's career in California politics began in 1960. She's planning on finishing it in 2025. And with that, the end of an era. The longest serving woman in U.S. Senate history intends to step down in 2025. Dianne Feinstein's Twitter account making it official. Quote, I'm announcing today that I will not run for re-election in 2024, but intend to accomplish as much for California as I can through the end of next year when my term ends. When people remember Senator Dianne Feinstein, how do you want them to remember her? I think a woman who was trailblazing, who never let personal laws stop her. Feinstein and Barbara Boxer became the first women ever elected to represent California in the U.S. Senate. She took my hand and she kept it the whole time. Their election year, 1992, known as the Year of the Woman. People would say to me, oh, I can vote for one woman, but I could never vote for two. And, well, maybe I could vote for two women, but not two Jewish women. In 1969, Feinstein was elected as a San Francisco supervisor. She'd become mayor of San Francisco after witnessing the murder of her colleagues. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. In the Senate, she'd pass a federal assault weapons ban despite opposition from Republicans like Larry Craig. The gentle lady from California needs to become a little more familiar with firearms and their deadly characteristics. I am quite familiar with firearms. I became mayor as a product of assassination. I'm aware of I that. I found my assassinated colleague and put a finger through a bullet hole. Bullet hole. Yeah. Senator, I know something about what firearms can do. I want to find out what was on the tapes. In the film The Report, Annette Bening portrayed Feinstein. She battled to make public torture committed by the U.S. government in the Middle East. I went up to see those torture photographs, and I almost fainted. And I'm tough. And she was bound to determined, and it was tough, to to make sure that that torture policy changed. Alex Padilla currently serves alongside Feinstein in the Senate. But I want to be clear, as she was clear with us in caucus, She's not done yet. Still, there have been recent questions about her short-term memory. Here's audio of an exchange with reporters after the retirement announcement was tweeted out by her team. I haven't made that decision. I haven't released anything. It will be my plan. You put out the statement? I didn't know they put it out. Um, so it is what it is. I think the time has come. Jeremy White writes about California politics for Politico. I don't think there's any getting around the fact that um, at 89 years old, Dianne Feinstein has faced questions about her cognitive state. Um, and I think it's something you can't just attribute to sort of political attacks. California needs a warrior. Congress members Katie Porter and Adam Schiff launched campaigns to fill Feinstein's seat before Feinstein officially announced her exit. Still, during recent interviews on the issue is, both went out of their way to praise her. I have incredible respect for Senator Feinstein. She has been such a trailblazer. I have a very close relationship with Senator Feinstein. Uh, great respect for her. I think Dianne Feinstein proves that whoever wins this seat is likely to be California's U.S. Senator for decades. I, I am looking at it as the marquee California political race of 2024. And Congresswoman Barbara Lee of Oakland likely to join that race as well in the coming weeks.